Okay, we have a fun problem here today from the MIT Integration B 2017, number 17. We have the integral from minus infinity to infinity, 3x squared, x cubed plus 1 squared, e to the minus x to the 6 minus 2x cubed dx. Okay, a couple things I'm noticing here. First, this part right here is perfectly set up for a u substitution. If I did this as u, then we have our derivative right here. But then I'm wondering what's gonna happen on this exponent right here. It's making me think of the Gaussian integral. We're going from minus infinity to infinity. If we maybe rearrange this, we could have this. For the Gaussian integral, we're gonna want this to be like u squared. What I can do is let's just start with this exponent and try to do some algebra on it. So I'm gonna factor out a minus sign. This becomes x to the six plus two x cubed. And then I want something squared if we're gonna make this Gaussian integral thing happen. So let's complete the square on this. Doing that, x cubed squared is gonna get me x to the six. So for the first part, we're gonna have x cubed. Take half of this exponent, and we just get a plus one. So if you multiply this out, when we square it, we, you're gonna have x to the six plus two x cubed plus a one. I don't wanna change it, so let me just subtract off a one right here. And then let's distribute back in the minus sign. So let's write it minus x cubed plus one squared. Then here, this is gonna become a plus one. Everything here, this is our exponent on e. But then what I can do is split off this part. This can just be, we can write it as multiplication. We can write this like e to the one. And then we can use this to rewrite our integral. This part, this is just e, it's just a constant. So we'll bring that out front of the integral. So when I rewrite, we'll have an e in front, still same bounds. And let me kind of reorder it a little bit. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna keep this part first. We're gonna have x cubed plus one squared. I'm gonna rewrite the e the way we have it right here. And then let's put this three x squared on the end of this. So we'll have just three x squared dx on the end. And then now I think we can do this u substitution and look what happened here. This is the exact same thing as what's here. So we're gonna do u equal to x cubed plus one. Take a derivative on it. We have du equals three x squared dx, which we set up right here. So then we'll go ahead and substitute. First, when we plug infinity in, that's still going to infinity for minus infinity. So it's important that that's an odd exponent so we don't get back infinity. This is still gonna be minus infinity plus one. It's just minus infinity. Again, this is u, this is u. So we're gonna have u squared, e minus u squared, and all this is just du. So now this part looks like the Gaussian integral. This is good, but then we have this u squared hanging around. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do is we need some more work on this. Let's do, let's do integration by parts. I think you could do this two ways. You might be able to use the gamma function as well, but if I split this u squared up, I can write this as one half u times two u, and that way it's still u, and that way multiplying that out, that's still u squared. And then let's do integration by parts on this. We we'll use the di method over here to the right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group the two u with the e minus u squared. So what we'll do is we'll differentiate one half u, and I wanna integrate the, the uh, two u e minus u squared. Now for the first part, derivative of this is gonna be easy. That's just gonna be one half here. For this integral, it's perfectly set up for another substitution. So we'll kind of do this in our head. You can think of it like if we did a t substitution for u squared, then we have our dt here, which would be two u du. So we'll just kind of do that on the fly you're gonna get back e minus t, which is just u squared. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna get back e minus u squared, and from the minus, a minus sign is gonna come out front. So we're gonna have part of our solution here on the diagonal. This is gonna become minus one half u e minus u squared, and this is evaluated from minus infinity to infinity. Well, when you evaluate at infinity, the exponential is gonna be much more powerful than this right here. Like technically this is gonna be an indeterminate form, but we don't really have to do any work on it because you can see that this is gonna, as you can see, this is gonna be going to zero really quick. So the first part is gonna just be zero. And the exact same thing is gonna happen with minus infinity because the square is gonna wipe out the minus sign. And again, this is be going to zero. So we end up with zero minus zero. And so this whole, so this whole part here is just gonna go away and just be a zero. So what that's gonna allow me to do is erase some stuff, but also, it's gonna simplify our di table because now all we need to do, because now all we need to do is just integrate this last row right here. And when we do this, I'm gonna bring along this e, 
Minus times minus is plus. Let's bring the one half out as a constant. And all we're integrating from minus infinity to infinity is just gonna be this part, or e minus u squared du. But that's perfect because this right here, this is our full Gaussian integral. This is gonna be just square root of pi. And so all we need to do on this is just multiply everything together. So for my final solution, we just get e square root of pi over two, and that's it. Okay, there you go. Good one today from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.